Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono Plays Zero Escape 999. Today, we are going to be sticking some pins inside these holes. You d are you literally telling me this again? <laughs> Amazing. Alright, so I guess five... Oh man, really? That kind of stinks. You have to do it like this. So this should be one. Now, let's get two up there. So, now can we do two? Oh, yeah, we, we can. We can do six, three, which is nine, and then <coughs> 11. So now we need three. Uh, sure. Let's do... We need 12, so 6... 5... 1, that's 3. Can we get a 4? Uh, let's see. 9, 12, no. But, yes. So, 2... 7... 14. There we go. Can we get a 5, he asks. That's a good question. Can we get a 5? Probably. So we put like a 9 here. Then a 14. That's 13. Yes, and then a 1. That's 14. That's 5. Now 6. 6, 6. The number of the beast. My neighbor. Um, let's see. Get seven that way. So we do six, seven. That is 13 plus two, and that is six. All right. I got this. It's math. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Now, seven. Everyone loves him. Not everyone. Lotus doesn't look, seem to like him, actually. So let's see, how can we get 16 from here? Well, we could do 9. Wait. Should we do 8 first? Because that might be a little harder. So we'll do 9. Plus 8. No, plus 7. That is 16 plus 2. No, that's 9 plus 1. Yes. That should totally work. That'll be 8 anyways. So for 8, or for 7, we'll do 8. Plus 6 is 14. Which is 5. Plus 2... Yes. There we go. Math! Well, shit. Alright, the lights are on and the shutters opened up. Hey, does that mean... Yeah, we gotta do it again. Man, I thought I was... I thought I was doing so well. What? Okay, so we get nine holes. And there is an F up there. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there's nine holes, so we need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't we just try it, alright? What? Okay, 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 okay. Alright. What are we all writing, Kronos? I have no idea. Um, what's the hexadecimal for F? <laughs> Is it 15? No. No, that doesn't seem right. A's 10, right? B's 11, C's 12, C's 13, D is 14, E is... So, 16? F is 16? But if we're just adding them all... Wait. I'm, 
I know the lines have to be something important, right? Like they they're all gonna add up. Hold up. No, not that. Uh, file. Oh, do we not have the the chart of numbers? Oh, that's rude. You think maybe the F means 15? Oh, no, I thought it meant 16, but yeah, you're probably right. 15? Yeah, 15 is the base, and base 10 is F and hex, right? You're right, yeah, that's gotta be it. Alright, let's give it one more shot. I mean, at least I was on the right track. I was just dumb and miscounted like I did the first time. We did the, the hexadecimal conversions like four episodes ago now. What do you want, though? Like, I don't know what you want. Maybe do like, no, I don't know. So I'm looking, like, okay, we're looking at the, the lines here. And I'm assuming it means in any direction, they'll add up. Do they all have to equal 15 in every direction? Is that even possible? <laughs> With only nine numbers, maybe. Okay, let's just let's just try getting at least one row of it. We'll go row 15 down here. So we'll do. Sure, we'll do two, eight, five. Okay, then, nope, that will not work. One over here, so that's six, and put a nine up here. No, that won't work either. Well, I mean, yes, that would work for getting it to be 15, but this is already, it's already messed up here. So that's 15 there. Take that, and then, this. Now that's 15. 15, 15. Um. Swap these around. Nope, that's too much. have to be over here. So then we get a 4 here. That's 15. That's 15. And then that's 12. With that. This is 5. Which does not work. This is 9. We can put this here. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. So I'm just trying to get everything to equal 15 in the end. Right? So we get 7 plus 8. That's 15. Up here is just completely wrong. This is a good place to restart. 5 in the middle. That way, we only need to get, like, each number to equal 10 on either side of it. Now that's easier said than done, because when we figure that out, we need to make sure these all equal 15. But that's fine. That's fine for right now. This could be... Uh, there. That's 15. Here? No, not there, not there. Maybe there? No. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Why is that not gonna work? Because if we do like nine 
That's 12. We need a 3. We can't put a 9 over here because that's too high. Well, okay. No, it is too high. So that doesn't work. Um, what else? Six and four. So that's fifteen. Seven and then eight. So we do nine there. So that's seven. Then we get eight here. Right, so that's 15, that's 15. This is... We did it! No, did we do it? That's eight, seven, and then three. Holy shit! All right. That took a little while. Uh, there we go, all pins inserted. All lights lit. We did it! <laughs> the power's on now. It looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the device on top. This thing? A green button, red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What, what the hell is this? Where did he find this? What is that? Where'd you find that? I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like these like instructions for these things. According to, the, to what it says here, this thing's a remote control for that. That. Yeah, that. Oh, that. What's he pointing to? Oh. The machine over there. Apparently, it's called the Pushmaster 5000. Are you serious? Whatever. So, what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? Push it? Push it real good. You see the coffin on top of the crate? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with that? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah. All right. Uh, how do you think we're going to do that? Well, well, there is some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up like stairs. Maybe we make a path to the coffin from there. Huh, how would you how do we do that? Line up the crates, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess this is just another one of Zero's puzzles. Yeah. Anyways, let's give it a shot. Oh, it looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off of a battery. So to keep it from using it up its energy too fast, it's been programmed so that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. New material has been added to the file screen. Oh, you son of a bitch. The monitor shows a top-down view of the area where we can move the machine. Once I want to send my orders to the Pushmaster 5000, I just pull the lever. It's the reset button. Allows me to start over again. Once I want to activate the program, I just pull the lever. Okay, do I not actually have to do it? Alright, let's give it a try. Sure thing. Let's keep in mind that there's a limit on the battery, alright? The battery dies after 50 moves. At least, that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves, huh? Also, keep in mind that the Pushmaster 5000 can't move the heavy metal crates, okay? Got it. Instructions for operation. With when a square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 is pressed, the Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. If there is a crate in the way, the Pushmaster 5000 will push up to a single crate. Move the crate appropriately and e efficiently, and it will fill the yellow areas. Okay. Huh. Okay. So, no, so about this, we uh, come over here, we push, no, you know, come down here, we push that over here, then we push this up, and then we push that down there, and then we push that, go all the way around, push it, and then push it real good. So, over. Up. And we gotta do this here. Probably should have. Might not be able to do this, actually. 
Well, no, this actually should work fairly fantastically. Oh, never mind, I've already screwed it up. Yeah. How the... F this actually is gonna be a hard puzzle. Okay. Well, look, we gotta try it or else we're gonna be here for hours. Sure. Come down. Then we come over here. No. That won't work. That won't work. I mean, we can try it, but that won't work. We can't go up from here. No, okay, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either, because now... How am I gonna get over there? I'm not. Well, come up here. Uh, maybe. We might run out of moves. Oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have done that one. I should have done. No. Hmm. I got the right idea. I do have the right idea. Okay. And it should work for either side. We'll come down here. We won't push any of those in just yet. And then... push that down. We'll push it up instead. No, no. I'm wasting a turn there. Push that over there. Ah, oh, shit. I gotta do that one last, I think. Traps. I guess I could try to go to the, this one from up top. No, how would I do that? I can't go to that one up top. There's not enough room. I have to go to this one from down below. So far, a 
literally nothing. Oh, actually, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I hope I hopefully I got it. I should have it. Okay, that actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> it took a while. Sure. I don't know how exactly long I was in there. I didn't stop the stopwatch and mark down a timestamp. So I'm assuming I didn't cut anything from that part. But we got it. What do I do next? Uh, just be quiet and watch. See? It's moving already. This is where all the animation budget went. The Pushmaster 5000. Awesome, the Pushmaster 5000 j did just what I told it to and lined up all the crates. <sighs> Great, now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the fence. You know what, that <laughs> that's gonna be next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, it's been, it's been a long time for me. Uh, I think the episode's only been like 29 minutes or so, give or take, uh, but it's been a while for me, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.